This is our new short track blade. It's, it's quite a different design. Um, maybe on the surface it looks similar. Uh, it's an aluminum tube, bonded by metal blade. The tube itself is oversized uh, in diameter compared to what's been currently done. The, the trend in short track has been toward uh, stiffer and stiffer blades, but there still needs to be a balance between how stiff and how flexible uh, they are in order to have the correct feel. So the tube itself is uh, about two millimeters larger in diameter than, than let's say from from maple. We can still keep a, a thin wall and keep the weight very low. In fact, they come out uh, just slightly lighter but a stiffer tube. So a stiffer carrier for, for the steel runner. This lets uh, the, uh, it gives better support for the steel, but you still have enough flexibility that the, that the feel remains the same. It's, it's not enough to have just a completely stiff, rigid structure. Uh, otherwise, not only can you, can you not apply, you know, all of your finesse into the ice, but you can't tell or read what the ice is attempting to tell you. You can't, you can't feel the changing ice conditions. You can't tell when the ice is breaking away, when you're at your limit or beyond your limit. And when you can't feel those, those small sensations, you quickly skate beyond them and you fall. An example would be a, a car driver um, being able to read what, what his suspension and tires are telling him in terms of grip. Uh, skaters looking for the same sensations in terms of grip. A good car driver can drive right up to those limits or beyond them because he gets a lot of feedback from tires and suspension. A short track skater is depending on that same feedback from the ice through their blade. The second feature on these blades are how we've decided to attach uh, the brackets or the cups that mount onto the blade. Typically they're done on, on a pair of posts both, both front and rear, but this has always been uh, a, a very compromised attachment system from the very beginning. Um, for years it wasn't a, a very weak point until the, the radius and the, and the bend of the blade started to become more refined. And as that became more precise, this attachment system begins to become a limitation. They don't, they don't bolt on very precise in that they can they can move side to side, they can be positioned this way, and because of how the tube is, is, is extruded, sometimes these posts are not even aligned properly, 90 degrees, or parallel to the steel. So, so these points on the blade are ground, not just in profile this way, but on the sides. We have a precisely milled bracket that fits on, probably under more pressure than I can do by hand. No play. These are precision ground uh, shoulder bolts, similar to what would be found on an inline skate to align the bearings. These fit with no extra washers or bolts. It's an extremely tight and precise fit. So when it's completely assembled, the mounting surfaces for both the front and rear of the blade are completely parallel, flat. Why is that important? Because when you mount this onto your boot, typically when these are not aligned and you apply pressure and you fasten it, the front and the back of the blade will bend slightly out of alignment and it changes the bend of your blade that you probably spent hours or days or weeks or months perfecting. In addition to that, the brackets have a long slot. So that way you can put two bolts, front and rear. Again, this prevents the front and rear of your blade from rotating. Sometimes with just one bolt, front and rear, it acts as an axle. And when you apply pressure on the middle of the blade, it wants to make those two brackets bend and rotate around that one bolt. So if you can put two bolts in front and rear, again under extreme pressure, it prevents the bend of the blade from changing. And that's maybe one of the biggest problems at the elite level. The guys are so fast, uh, 
uh, they exert so much pressure on the ice that the bend, trying to keep it from changing, and at times even the radius of your blade can change as those forces act on the tube. You want to minimize those or eliminate those.